Okay, this is our latest update on the Divco, uh, the progress that we're making. We finally got the body off of the frame. The frame is actually out there in the parking lot. And that'll be uh, steam cleaned, power washed, pull the motor out of it, and then we're going to have that uh, sandblasted and, uh, and primed and painted. Um, still haven't figured out what we're going to do with the rear end on that yet. We've got to talk to someone first, see if we can get the truck to go a little faster. And we got to check on tires. So here's the, uh, here's the cab. Completely off now. Um, what I did today was I made up a, a framework for it. You can see it underneath there. And then I bolted some cheap um, appliance dollies that I got it. Harbor Freight to each corner and then we bolted quickly the uh, the frame to the the lift so I could at least still bring this thing up and down and work on it so this right here is the uh, the inner cage that I had built that ran laterally from this point here over to the other side and there was another one up front we took those off we don't need those anymore. I'm going to leave this one in place for now because we still have to work the corners. So I don't want to uh, take the chance of losing any structural integrity until we get the corners rebuilt. The sides are obviously they're on. There's some plastic work. Still got a little bit more to do before we get it ready for primer. And what we did too is I'll put the lift up. The side panels here. These are all welded in place and we actually glued the inside area in here we glued that this this piece here we glued the outer panel to this and then we tacked it we have to grind all these down put a nice wipe a two-part epoxy seam sealer but what I also did because of the fact that this body panel is really just bolted in. We may weld it, we haven't figured that out yet, what we want to do. But to give it a little bit more rigidity, I came up here and we welded a piece of one by one squared tubing the whole length, I should say the whole width of the vehicle. In here, in here, we'll pop this off real quick. We'll run a stitch around, we'll grind it down clean. We still have to grind this up here on both sides. Stitch that shut so uh, it's nice and smooth. Grind it, fill in a couple of pinholes that are up here. We've got all the inner bracing that we added into it to stiffen the side panels up. We're gonna leave this in place. We actually, when we are taking this apart, same thing there's really there was a lot of weight that the back of the vehicle actually sat on the rear body panel this is the rear body panel over in the corner over there all right now that rear body panel oops that rear body panel was bolted to the back of the truck and the weight of the truck was basically on that rear body panel and the rear body panel was bolted to the end of the frame rails which I really didn't think that was a good idea because of the weight that this thing has. So you're not gonna see this because that rear body panel covers this. It sits right over it. Basically the top of it just comes a little over, the, over here by maybe a quarter of an inch. So we made a couple of gussets right here, left and right, all right? And we bolted that right to the frame. So this rear piece here is going to help carry the weight of the back of the vehicle instead of just that rear body panel. So we've come a long way. We've still got a long way to go. Um, like I said, it's <clears throat> it's been something that's obviously taken time. You know, it took me half a day just to build this this framework and then uh, screw it down. I've actually got a couple of just. Uh, sheetrock screws to hold it in place because the weight of it will sit there. These are brackets that I made up real quick from some leftover square tubing. They slide up inside here. We got one in each corner in the back. We couldn't put them in the front. So I took a piece of round rod, welded that down, put a couple of big 
bolts that would normally hold um, an axle into a vehicle just so it's got something to sit on we welded a, a washer right here and this is just floating this is just sitting here and the weight of the truck is sitting on this rod so there's no way that the that the body can fall off of the jig that I made up so that we can roll it around so at least now it's movable you can drop it down on the ground move it around uh, I was able to weld a bunch of stuff up underneath um, what we also did was I'll put this up a little further now this is all new right here this piece it sits below the side doors and the same thing some of the engineering on this wasn't in my opinion thought out very well so this is all new this whole piece is new so what I also did was we took and just put a couple of gussets in here all right it's not pretty I'll grind it down smooth it out but that stiffens up this pillar this front pillar we still have to close this up a little bit do a little bit of welding grind it down same thing over here this pillar didn't have anything like this either so you know both sides just a little piece of angle iron it's a little hard to see because it's dark in here but we welded the pillar here to this new piece that goes underneath the whole door and then we also did the same thing right here behind the fender or I should say the front body panel so it's not real you know pretty but it needs to be structurally sound more than anything so this is solid now a little bit more welding to do on it I'm thrilled with the way it's coming out we've got to clean these up we've got to grind these down smooth put some two-part epoxy but at least it's starting to look like something now so that's the latest update on the Divco. There it is up in the air. And she's starting to come back to life. Take care.